What's up guys and welcome back to the Bureau of XCOM Declassified in the last episode. We started the last war, which is this second last story mission of the Bureau. The whole game, yes. And today we are gonna finish the last war. They're uh the base. Yeah, that is what the last war is about. We have in a quest to find out where the bloody hell everyone is. Lifting. We have managed Finish to. It what's it? Taking a shot. We have let the infiltrator loose. Oh god. Uh, and he's pretty much wrecking hell on the on the entire XCOM base, which is. And William Carter is also talking to a crazy alien that's trying to con that's actually controlling him from the inside. Too, too. Now we gotta clear the base. Oh god, a Strider. Okay, that one, that thing needs some taking care of. Uh, whoops. We need some rockets now. Rocket turret deployed. Diversion there. Girl distracted. Things are armored. Come on. I know my plasma assault cannon is good at good at taking out shields. Hit, oh, not shields, armor. Uh oh, oh boy. Ow. Healing engaged. It's breaking. It's breaking. Lifting it. Hit it hard. Oh boy. Mind that area. Shoot that. I don't like the commanders. Not. I don't like any of the commanders. Not at all. There he goes. Okay, got a grenade hip. Grenade! I'm getting chewed up! Yeah, I noticed. Uh I don't have my heal. You, could you wait 20 seconds? Give me artillery! Fire mission confirmed! And you can mo can, can definitely Get reach down. it over there. Moving. So should you actually. Uh white right. there. Boom! Down goes the sector pod. Come on, this is a this is a desert eagle of a. In, this is a. Oh, oh, the infiltrator is here, is he? So do I. Jeez, stop, stop whining. Our own origin was He's dead. Our own origin. <coughs> yeah, I preferred you. D While you were. Oh. Ooh! No! My gun! Fine. I'll. I'll. I'll use the rotary plasma. I've seen two different realities. I've traveled between worlds. But everywhere I've been, I've been a slave. I just want to be free, Carter. To be myself for once. Yeah. I want that too. And he's dead. Who would have guessed? Who would have thunk it? Well, now, who, who hasn't seen Leave that one coming? Alone. Let me go! Uh, sir? Talking Agent to Carter? the aliens in his head! I can't. Keep it together, Carter. We're almost home. We just need to get to the Avenger and get out of here. Oh, blobs! Welcome to Earth. Got fog fooled, but I promise you this: you will not be leaving this base. Oh boy, that sounds bad. Can we? Can I move, please? This has never been a drill. Oh, I do I recognize this? Hey, look, sleepwalkers. 
You have no idea what to do with them, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's much because they did they, they don't pose much harm or threat right now. Oh my get off my way. Oh she decided to become a gymnast, okay. I uh, I can't blame her for her life decisions, but let's move on. Alright, so we need to head to the Avenger, which is I think it's to this way, and meet with fuck oh my god that frame rate like ah Oh, Agent oh no. Sir, can you hear us? Why are you holding a huge Almost gun to your there. head? Keep moving, Carter. Keep moving. Contact. <coughs> what? Contact where? Oh. Repositioning. Area secure. Fight it, Carter, fight it. Sir. Hi White. Hi Anton. Commander, what's going on? Sorry. Didn't think I could do it, did you? No, I'm gonna be free. But I need you, Agent Carter. Leave me be. No, I cannot, Agent Carter. I'm sorry, Agent Kata. Yay! I'm not taking any more orders. Not from you. Not from anyone. Oh boy. He doesn't like me. But Agent Kata, I only love you. Something tells me it's only a matter of time before you stick me back in the bottle. Well, I've got another idea. I know you bastards can survive in this goop, so I'll make you a deal. Get out of my head now, or I'll blow us all to kingdom come. I'd rather kill us all than be your puppet one second longer. Wonder if you feel the same way. Oh boy, is well, this talking to me? To or is this talking to the alien? And now I have to make a choice. Do I leave him? Or do I stay and control him? Hmm. I would say the choice is up to you, the viewers, but this is a video and I'm only roughly 8 minutes in. And I have done this before, so I'm gonna give Carter his freedom. I'm sorry, Carter. It was never meant to be. And of course, in the ethereal space, I must now decide on who to possess. So, at this point in the game, if you've ejected the ethereal, you're given three options. You can either possess Agent Weaver, Director Falk, or Dr. Weir. Uh, either or is fine. They actually don't give any benefits apart from being a, what's it, a cosmetic change for the player. You still retain all the skills and stuff. It's just that, you know. Will, you stupid son of a bitch. Do the smart thing and give up. We don't have time for you to throw a temper tantrum. So basically you can look into their minds and see, just you know, personally decide who you want to emerge with, so on and so forth. situation. Carter has become a dangerous liability. Ethereal is a valuable ally. Long-term loyalty uncertain. We don't have much choice. It's telepathic, isn't it? What should I say? Aren't you? It must be related to how you control your host. But it must be a very subtle influence if William only just realized. And you can pretty much, you know, decide who you want to possess. I'm not entirely sure if this affects the end game, but concerning it, the end game also takes into account everything else they've done in the entire game. Um, the last time I did this, I think I. Yeah, I possessed Weaver. So I'm gonna do something different this time. Hmm. I'm gonna do Weir. Focus, Alan. This is no time for Say goodnight, Dr. Weir. <clears throat> Had to do it, Carter. Grab a hold of him, boys. Sorry, Carter. Well, 
I guess it comes to this. I would rather have the good doctor in charge. I mean, to be in charge right now. I mean, at the end, it's all down to one. I mean, at the end, it's all down to the same this thing. This is Director anyway. Falk to all XCOM personnel remaining in the field. In the event that you are receiving this transmission, it means that I have issued a code alpha evacuation order. Do not approach the area known as Site X. Consider all XCOM assets at Site X to be dead or destroyed. Do not attempt a recovery or rescue. To those of you that survive, your mission remains. Survive. Adapt. Win. Do not stop go, until the go, last of them go. are dead. Or the last of us. That's an entirely different game. Hey, oh, we have finished! The last war! Nice! The events leading up to the invasion and subsequent destruction of our facility fall entirely on my shoulders. Following my orders, Dr. Weir connected an enemy prisoner to the Mosaic network in the hopes of locating the enemy mothership. In doing so, the prisoner disclosed the location of the base via some network, setting us up for an attack. Agent Carter was discovered to be under the control by a being now known as an Ethereal. A being of the same type as a previously unknown creature captured in Operation Crack the World. The attempt to extricate himself from the control of the Ethereal caused great mental and physical strain on Carter. Oops. Ethereal was then accepted into the consciousness of Dr. Alan Weir in, the ho in order to maintain the tactical advantage it provides for humanity. And you notice now that I my, my agent now has changed from Carter to Weir. My rank still remains the same, I have acquired any new technology, and loads of outsiders died. That was the end of- God, I just received a text. The Last War! If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I will see you guys in the next video where we tackle the next mission. Actually, no, not the next mission. The next base visit before the very, very last story mission. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>